Once um, the men have had this surgery, they're discharged from hospital with a catheter. Mm -hmm. Tell me, what's that process? What are they like? Well, I have one to show you. <laughs> so this is a, a, a catheter, and this is how um, it stays inside the bladder because it's got a little balloon here that's filled with water. Whenever we talk about balloons, people think about party balloons, but this is the actual balloon that we need. <laughs> um, so it's filled with water, sterile water, and that's what keeps it up inside the bladder. Um, and obviously it's a direct link from inside to outside, which is why we advise the men to, to drink at least a litre and a half, two litres a day to keep the urine well flushed and to stop the catheter from getting blocked. Um, the end of the catheter is attached to a leg bag, so like so, which uh, you then wear strapped to your leg. Normally for the men it's, it's a, a longer tube so they can wear it on their calf so it's easier for them to empty. You must make sure that the bag is, 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 is strapped thoroughly to the leg with the enclosed straps because you want to avoid it pulling. Right. And also that's why it's important that you empty it regularly. Avoid the bag from becoming over full because the fuller it is, the heavier it is and it's going to pull um, and uh, cause a bit of pain. That's going to be not comfortable, I yeah. can imagine. <laughs> exactly. So empty the bag regularly. Um, we do give you an information, give all the men an information leaflet booklet about the catheters to go home with. It explains how to look after the catheter, yeah. and we will go through it with you as well. Um, it's important to empty the bag regularly. Um, obviously, hand washing is essential, so make sure that you wash your hands thoroughly beforehand and wash your hands afterwards. Just with ordinary soap and water is fine, you haven't got to use anything special. Um, empty the bag by flipping open the tap at the bottom and you can just empty it into the toilet or any sort of receptacle. Um, avoid the tap from coming into contact with the, with the toilet uh, okay. seat, just keep it into the middle. Um, and then obviously when the bag is empty, close the tap up again, just dab the, the, dab, dab, dab the bottom with a bit of tissue, yeah. uh, and then you're away to go. The leg bag, as you can see, holds about four to five hundred mils, so it's fine for daytime use. But obviously, at night time, what the men can do is attach um, an overnight drainage bag, such as this one. Uh, it comes with its own tubing, so all you have to do is attach the end of this tube onto the bottom of the leg bag, like so. Open the tap and then any urine that's drained overnight will go into the leg bag and directly into the overnight drainage bag. In the morning then, uh, remember to close the tap. Um, obviously hand washing beforehand and afterwards as I've mentioned earlier. Disconnect the tubing and then you can empty the overnight bag and throw it away and have a fresh one for the following night. So obviously with a catheter, a wa getting a water infection can be a bit of a risk. Mm -hmm. So what do you suggest to avoid getting a water infection and what are the signs to look out for? Mm. Obviously the catheter is a direct access from inside the body to outside so it is important to maintain hygiene so that's why good hand washing is essential whenever you're going to empty the bag or change the bag. Try and wash around the catheter where it actually enters the tip of the penis just with ordinary warm water. It hasn't got to be avoid soaps or, or, or any sprays, just ordinary warm water just around the uh, edge of the catheter where it enters the penis. If that can be done once or twice a day that will help to keep um, any infection at bay. Um, good fluid intake is essential so at least a litre and a half, two litres of fluid a day to keep the, the, the urine well flushed, the bladder well flushed. The signs and symptoms of a, a urinary tract infection would be uh, tummy pain and feeling cold and shivery uh, with the temperature and generally feeling unwell as well. Also the urine will be quite um, smelly and, st and strong smelling. Yeah. So any concerns like that we would advise the men to seek further advice either through their GP or the district nurse or one of uh, us nurses at the, at the hospital and we give all those contact details out to the men before we go home.